As popular as weight loss videos are, it's time to look at the other side of the scale. The notion of gaining weight has escaped the grasp of many naturally skinny individuals. It seems like no matter what they do, they can't put on a single ounce of extra mass. And it doesn't help that people on the internet and even supposed fitness gurus are telling you that there's no way you can gain weight because of your genetics. Fortunately, such a blatant claim is blatantly false. Undoubtedly, there are genetic differences to each person's body, but barring any diseases, anyone can not only put on mass, but huge amounts of muscle as well. Fundamentally, it comes down to two things. One, eating the appropriate amount of food, and two, having a proper workout plan. Yes, you might be thinking, I've already tried that and it doesn't work. Thing is, it's as much of an excuse as a person overweight saying that they've tried all types of diets and still can't lose weight. Fact is, nothing will ever escape the laws of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be destroyed nor created, it can only be converted from one form to another. That is, for weight gain, one must eat more calories than he or she burns. And some of you might think that not all calories are created equal, and it's true. The three caloric macronutrients that we humans consume, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, serve very different purposes, but they all are essentially energy for the body. Eat more than enough and the body stores the excess away, and you gain weight. So increasing calorie intake is the name of the game. You've probably heard people and perhaps even fitness pros tell you to just eat more. Heck, double what you're eating now and you'll gain weight in no time. And yes, it's true, but it doesn't always work. Understand that you have spent your entire life eating a certain amount of food, thus your body has adapted to expecting a certain amount of food. We as humans are a very habitual species, meaning we don't like change. And when there's change, there is resistance. And what's a greater change than something like doubling the food you eat? Knowing this, the proper approach is to change things gradually. If you're eating a sandwich for lunch with three slices of turkey, try four slices next time. Drink half a glass of milk in the morning, try three quarters. Eight ounces of steak for dinner, try nine. It's all about small changes now, adding up to huge changes later. In terms of calories, it might be roughly one to 200 more calories per day. After a few weeks, ramp it up to two to 300, and after a few more weeks, three to 400. You get the pattern. And yes, food type matters too. You wouldn't want to just gobble down bags of chips all day, even if it works. More calorie and nutrient rich foods, such as fruits, nuts, and oats, would be a good idea. More protein if you're shooting for more muscle, such as one to one and a half grams per pound of body weight. Aim for healthier omega-3 fats and higher carb intake. Just be careful with too much carbs as it can lead to insulin resistance over time and in extreme cases lead to a little thing we call diabetes. Unlikely, yes, but possible. And if all fails, then yes, taking supplements can help. But choose the ones that are higher in proteins and fats. Many mass gain supplements are just sugary concoctions which technically can make you gain weight but not in the healthiest manner. And of course, if you want to build muscle, eating is only half the battle. The other half is done in the gym. Whether it's lifting weights or calisthenics, your training should consist of heavy volume and progressive overload. That means pushing moderately heavy weights many times and next time push more weights than you did the first time. Time. Rinse and repeat. Avoid things such as cardio since it burns too much of your precious calories and heck, even try to cut down any physical activity such as cleaning your room or washing dishes. As minuscule as it sounds, all of these activities can add up to a solid number of calories. But good luck convincing others on your unfinished household duties for the sake of your gains. And if you paid very close attention, you'll notice that all of this advice is essentially the same as the principles of bulking. But people that are naturally skinny will have to be much more diligent in following the bulking guidelines than your average individual. You can learn more about bulking in the video here. Finally, if there's anything you've learned from this video, let it be that anyone, including yourself, can in fact gain weight. Apply the right calorie approach and it most definitely will happen. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. And if you have an even better tip, share it in the comments. Please subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.